And now, your Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We're starting to see a little bit of cloud cover flowing into some parts of the Central Basin, including Odessa and Midland right now. Looking pretty cloudy out there. We do still have a little bit of rain moving through the Northern Basin, and that's the re responsible party for producing these clouds out there right now. But thanks to the Sky Tracker Network, we've got a good look outside at those conditions. And switching over to satellite and radar, you can see where that rain is still situated, mostly again across the northern basin, as well as some parts of southeast New Mexico and a little bit of the northern Transpecos, dealing with just a little bit of remnants from some thunderstorms that we had earlier in the day. Now that rain is working its way out pretty quickly. You can see it dissipating, so no real hail uh, to be aware of, no real hail or anything like that in the in the forecast for the rest of this evening either just looking at some mild rainfall a couple of light showers sweeping across the northern basin same story here as well no real hail popping up but as far as heat goes we sure saw a lot of that high temperatures picked up into the triple digits again for today here in Odessa Midland where highs were at 101 95 is the normal for this time of year so we came in pretty well above that normal mark as well our lows also coming in pretty well above normal but thankfully steering clear of any kind of records set on this day. Now as we continue through the overnight hours, most of that rain is going to continue to work its way out, leaving behind a little bit of cloud cover. Notice this model running a little bit light in terms of that cloud cover, so notice by the time we get to tomorrow morning, this moisture flowing in from the south and east, it will produce a little bit more clouds in the sky than what we're shown here on this model. But either way, once we get into the afternoon time, this model does a good job of catching up and it shows off where rain is likely to occur, which is in southeast New Mexico and some of the higher elevations like the Van Horn Mountains. Now that'll be pushing off to the east, but because it's initiating a little bit further to the north than what we had earlier today, Odessa Midland, the rest of the central basin, just going to be a little bit too far to the south to really expect any of that rain. But Gaines County, Borden, Dawson, even Andrews County, I think, have a small chance at some of that rain for tomorrow afternoon. Most of the rain is going to be setting up in southeast New Mexico. By about 4 p.m. is when I expect that to get kicked off. Once we hit about 10 p.m., this model showing a couple more isolated cells popping up, but I really expect most of the energy to move on by about 11 p.m. So it's going to be kind of a late afternoon into the late evening hours for the window for that rain to sprout up again in southeast New Mexico and at the higher elevations. Odessa Midland staying dry this time. High temperatures picking up to 99 degrees for tomorrow afternoon, and those winds will be picking up into the teens and even the 20s for tomorrow too. So it is going to get to be a pretty warm and pretty breezy day, but again, Again, Odessa Midland unfortunately staying dry. Notice rain totals even through tomorrow evening are going to remain pretty light, only about a tenth of an inch at the very most. So less rain for tomorrow afternoon than what we saw even today, which really wasn't that much either. Now, as far as temperatures go tomorrow, it's going to be another warm day, but pretty similar to what we had today. So we'll be waking up with temperatures in the 70s once again. Wind speeds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So once again, also pretty breezy. Another kind of repeat of what we had earlier today coming our way for tomorrow to round out the end of the week. And we're actually already pretty breezy. Right now, 15 miles per hour for Odessa Midland, but in the 20s for Fort Stockton and Alpine. As we continue to click through, notice we'll still start the day with wind speeds in the teens for most of the basin, but a lot calmer out to the west through some of the higher elevations like the Van Horn Mountains, only about nine miles per hour in the Guadalupe Pass, for example. But once we head into the afternoon evening time, those winds sure do stir up, picking up into the teens, the 20s, and possibly even gusting a little bit higher than that right near Carlsbad where those pinkish colors are picking up. Now, as far as temperatures go, we'll be picking up to 99 degrees for tomorrow afternoon, 97 on Saturday and 98 on Sunday with a high temperature in the triple digits once again for next week on Monday and Wednesday. It's going to be a nice weekend, still pretty warm, but also windy. So do watch out for sparks, flames, cigarette butts, things like that. And Amanda, our rain chances finally return again on Tuesday of next Yay. week. Another 40% chance for thunderstorms there. I'm excited. You know, I don't mind the hot temperatures. It's just the hot wind that gets yeah. me. Yeah, me too. I don't like Oof. it. <laughs> and sometimes you'll feel dehydrated before you even know it. That's true. That is true. So drink a lot of water if you're heading outdoors, but make sure also uh, to plan for a warm weekend. Very important stuff there. Thanks for that, Chase. And speaking of